We now we got epic key and secret key. We should uh, click here, edit restrictions, enable spot and margin trading, enable futures. And if you click here, you will be able to uh, get access from any IP addresses. If you trade only with uh, one computer, I really recommend choosing this option. Then we click save. Confirm. Then we should copy both keys. We save it in a safe place. By the way, uh, if you don't know how to connect uh, the three stage authentication, go to security. And here you will be offered to add some phone number verification and oh, Binance and Google Authenticator. Then we open our syscap trading terminal. Uh, from the very beginning, it looks like that. Then we go to settings. We should delete uh, the extra uh, brokers and uh, exchanges here and left only those we are trading at Binance in our case. We go here to connection settings. So after pressing on the gear uh, and uh, select the base settlement currency, USDT, uh, you will trade and focus only on those coins that have a pair to the USDT tether. So here we should insert Epi key and here we should insert Epi secret key that we received on the Binance. We click on the plug-in for a spot. Now it's connected with uh, indicating the green light. All the same actions we should do with the professional futures correspondingly. And now you see the green indicator here again. It means that we just connected uh, our Binance account uh, with our uh, training terminal. It's absolutely safe. For, uh, for a better connection, uh, we also uh, advise you to choose proxy server. Uh, you can choose Tokyo or uh, custom uh, can uh, experience with this, checking your pings. We'll talk about this later. Okay, we close this window. Now let's move on to the main thing, how to set up your workspace. First of all, let's go through the interface. Here you can click on the plus. Here you can add an order book of a certain uh, instrument. We press plus again. It could be Bitcoin, Ethereum or Shiba, never mind, your instruments for trading. We place spot order book on the left and futures order book on the right. Here we choose spot, example BTC, we choose BTC USDT because USDT is our base settlement currency. So here we see the BTC, we click here, add order book and we add another order book. And we add futures BTC. Now we see uh, the BTC spot on the left like a father and BTC futures on the right like a son. Futures are always following the spot. Here we can find the button to add the chart or an instrument. We recommend putting it under the order book. For example, we have a chart. of the BTC, we choose as well, BTC of spot. And using docking, we can place it uh, under the order book. We do it like that. Very convenient docking. Then we do the same for the BTC. Another option is to Click here, open chart of your instrument. We open the chart of the futures BTC and we can do the same. So here we, so here we have the graphs of uh, spot and futures are almost the same, but sometimes they can differ. After that, we can add another tab, pressing here, add tab, doing the same order book. For example, Ethereum, Spot, we add another one again, add order book, Ethereum, Futures. Let's do the same with our graphs. And here we have the tabs, as you see. Uh, the first tab with the BTC and the second tab with the Ethereum. We can rename it 
to make it more convenient. So we have two tabs, BTC and Ethereum, named correspondingly. Spot on the left, futures on the right, with the graph of spot and futures correspondingly here. And as you see, the spot and uh, futures order books are marked in uh, different colors. Here you can add workspace and, uh, for example, you can uh, shift it to another monitor. It would help you to track much more instruments simultaneously. Uh, concerning the interface, next we have the notification feed here, line of notifications. We can set up a signal level pressing key plus left uh, button of your mouse like that. If we hear the signal and don't know on which tab it's uh, activated, uh, we open notification feed here uh, where it will be pointed out. So we hear the signal, for example. So here it's indicated Ethereum uh, in the tab named Ethereum. It's a very useful tool that allows you not just sitting uh, in front of the monitor because it's quite exhausting. Then here we have financial results. Shows you how much you earned or lost. Here you see your profit in green or uh, if you have lost it will be displayed in red color with minus and your total accumulated fee. Here in settings you also can import or export your uh, settings uh, in the file. For example, if you reinstalled the system or bought a new computer or just uh, have bought a new computer and in order not to set up all your working space from the very beginning and order books uh, for the instruments again, you can upload your file and you will get settings. So we should export it just to save this document. For example here and on the new computer you just click import and upload this file and the settings will be the same here in display you can change the color of uh, main theme but we recommend using dark mode uh, just to see the right color of clusters Here in display, you can change uh, the color. Here in display, you can change available temps, color lawyer, for example, different types. Here in display, you can change the color of uh, main temp, like that. But I really prefer this calm. Uh, but, uh, but we recommend using dark mode uh, just to see the right color of clusters. Next, uh, the button hotkeys. We will talk about this in the next video. I will tell you how to set them up uh, so that you uh, will be able to trade uh, conveniently and not get confused. Here we can change pin and the language of our interface. Here you can choose the sound notification, but I really recommend to turn off all the extra uh, notifications like large peak amount, large amount, uh, large amount in the order book, iceberg, and so on. And uh, leave only uh, two notification on trade that will be indicating that you just have entered the trade and signal price level. It works when uh, the price crosses your level. Now let's set up the workspace properly. Let's add another one tab, uh, order book. For example, Atom. Another one order book with the futures. And it's extremely important. Why do we usually 
uh, set up the BTC uh, as the first and the core instrument. We should always keep an eye on BTC because it's uh, mostly always followed by the altcoins. If Bitcoin goes up, then altcoins will go up as well and vice versa. If we are lost like that to center uh, the order book, we should press left shift. Now let's add another one altcoin inside one tab. Here we have uh, just only one uh, atom, uh, spot and futures uh, with its graphs. As you see, you can do it as you want, like that, for example. But I prefer placing the graph under the order book. So we should add another two order books. Uh, this is our first instrument inside one tab, and this uh, will be the second instrument in inside one tab. Let's say algo. Don't forget to choose the futures. So you see two instruments inside one tab. If it's convenient for you to have only one instrument inside one tab, please, you're welcome. I usually prefer uh, such an outlay. If you prefer having uh, six or even eight instruments inside one tab, it's up to you. So here you see that on the left part where we have Atom, the order book is quite readable. Here we have uh, the total mass, because in this case we should uh, set up the order book properly. But this is the topic of the next video.